looking around to see which camera is working. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, August 18th of 2019. I'm wanting to say, I was thinking of making this uh, title for this, that for the first time since 1982, I have downgraded my internet speed. But that, then I was thinking that actually would not be correct. But I just, uh, see, it was, it was Charter. I was using Charter here. And then Charter changed their name or sold to Spectrum. So now it's uh, Spectrum. So we've been using Spectrum here uh, for internet. And in the past, we used them for you know television. But we did away with the television my channels and just went to internet and then eventually, eventually we went to uh, one phone line now so anyway we've been using them uh, I'm not sure how long back a while back I think the speed we were getting was uh, 60 down and 5 up and my uh, grandson came over. Uh, him and his mother live in an apartment in this complex over, you know, here. And uh, he came over and he said, uh, wow, that's great that uh, Spectrum, I mean, it might have been shorter than Spectrum, but the speed increase, and I said, what speed increase? And he said, oh, they, uh, for free, They've gone from 60 up to 200. And actually, I had noticed, I thought that was something was wrong with, uh, you know, the speed test or whatever, because I was getting, I thought, that's not right. I, I better use a different browser and, and whatever, because for like a day, the day before, a couple of days, I'd noticed that. And I thought, well, it's just, but so anyway, he said there, it's now, uh, for free, uh, well, not for free, but, you know, we were paying, and uh, it's uh, now 200 down and 10 up, and it was 60 down and 5 up, and I said, great, and he said, yeah, uh, he said, I, I already uh, paid the extra and upgraded, and I said, what extra, and he said, Oh, well, you can pay, and I forget what he said it was, extra, and you can get 400 down and 20 up. And I said, well, that's what I want. So he left. I immediately called and ordered uh, and got, you know, 400 megs down, and it was uh, 20 up. And that's what we've had for, I don't know, a year or two. two. I never get phone calls. I wonder if this is, uh, I bet this is, uh, this is on my cell phone. I bet this is, uh, Spectrum calling to see how I like service they just gave. Um, so anyway, uh, I uh, that's what I should read on the cell phone. I maybe once or twice a month I get out of I get out of here and go someplace and my cell phone all the time here is just strictly using Wi-Fi and I pay about $50 a month to T-Mobile for this and I'm really, you know, I, I could cut the service down but I'm, I'm really afraid to change from T-Mobile service. Uh, if you remember a while back I was in the hospital for like six days or whatever and I want to make sure that but 
anyway, I also have seen a couple ads for, you know, getting reduced, uh, you know, inexpensive cell phone service. In fact, I just wrote one down. What was it called? Okay, it's buried underneath this other paperwork. But what I don't want to happen is I go someplace, I get the reduced service, you know, and I go someplace and then they charge me, you know, because I went above my limit or something where with T-Mobile, every, you know, unlimited, unlimited, unlimited for 50 bucks a month. Except they're making a lot of money off me because I never go anyplace. Back to the subject here. So, um, Anyway, I uh, I just decided, and oh, the bill is uh, hundred and think hundred and nineteen dollars. Yeah, hundred and nineteen dollars a month um, for for four hundred down and twenty up, and one phone line from them that my ex wife uses. As a, you know phone line uh, so anyway if I just decided I just can you know just too much money and so I just called them a few minutes ago and, uh, and I thought when I called them too that what would happen is I thought they'd say well I'll tell you what because I'm sure you've run into this too you call to I can't remember the different company but you call for Netflix or different companies and they'll say, tell you what we'll do, don't cancel, you know, uh, here's what we'll do, you know, we'll give you, so I thought they were actually going to say, okay, well, you know, you can keep the speed you've got and we'll give you a discount. Anyway, I called and said, well, you know, I, I'm just paying, uh, I'm retired and uh, I just need to cut the uh, cost, so uh, I want to uh, cut back from the speed from 400 to 200. And uh, the lady said, okay, no problem. And she said, so that'll be, you'll be uh, saving $25 a month. And so now instead of 119 a month, uh, I will be paying 79 a month, so $80 a month. I wish that have maybe some kind of a deal said oh don't do that mr howard you know uh but so I, but anyway i was thinking you know that okay i was going to title this you know for the first time since 1982 that's not actually true in 2000 uh, my son james and i we went down to orlando florida and we rented a uh, trailer in a little tiny not exactly a trailer, I guess it was a trailer. Some people owned, I don't know, 10 trailers or something in there. They rented them out. It was on the uh, eastern edge, eastern edge of Orlando. That's the Duck Road, I think. Um, and man, they had internet service there that you could hook into and oh it was terrible it was like it wasn't 300 bond I mean I got that in 1982 and it was I can't remember what it was um, then after a while there we moved uh, further into Orlando and rented a house and Every time we touched something, we got shocked. Uh, the lady who owned this house that she rented out was Hispanic, like Cuba, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. And I guess every time that she <clears throat> needed work done, she had some friends that were Hispanic or whatever, or Cuban. And they came in, I guess, and did the did the work for her, you know, at a good price. But they didn't know what they were doing. You know, I don't think they knew what they were doing. Big wiring. 
for the wiring for the intranet and uh, for everything, the phone service, everything was just unbelievable. I can't even remember what we went through there. So being, after being in Miami for five years, uh, we moved to Carrollton, Texas, where Hillary had a house, a real nice house, and my ex-wife was living there, and uh, her son, my grandson, and so uh, Jimmy and I moved in there for a while, and Internet speed. I can't remember what it was, but it was fat. You know, it was it was good. Uh, it was excellent there. I can't remember what it was or who it was. Uh, then um, we moved to oh, what was it? My ex-wife bought a house in I can't remember the name of the small town now terrible to get old. Uh, and the internet service that we had there, I can't remember, but it, it wasn't good. So we ended up, and we had a dish all back up when we were in Orlando at the first location, the trailer park or whatever, we got a dish to get the internet. But it was, the phone line was used to send the data out and we got the signal from, you know, coming in and there was the latency or not, oh, it was, it was not good. I forget what we paid for it. So anyway, so we're now in Remember that place, uh, Texas, and we went with a dish, but a different type of dish for internet service. And with that dish, it was a big dish, and it was actually using the dish both ways. We didn't use the phone line, or you know, so it was, it was, you were using the dish, and that probably would have been okay if. Uh, not great. That would have been okay if, if you were using one computer, <laughs> maybe two, but we were using like three computers or something like that hooked it, and it was not good, not good. Like I said, it would have been okay. So then a uh, different son and I uh, went to Miami, Florida, because he had to go to FAA school uh, for air traffic controller. Had to get a degree in that. So we were down there, and uh, then eventually my grandson came down and joined us. So there were three of us down there. And the internet service we had there in the beginning wasn't, it kind of stuck. Oh, I know what it was the very beginning was. That they didn't tell you, but you could only have like, I think two IP addresses. I was struggling with that. Why doesn't this, you know, I'm trying to change all this and then figure out that you could only have two IP addresses. And then that company, whoever we were getting it from, and I can't remember who they were, one of the names, they sold out to another one and that, those people took over and then you could have more than, you know, two IP addresses, I think maybe six or something. And we had that service. Uh, then after we were there like in Miami for, we actually made a move during that time after a couple years or whatever because the place we were renting when we, started renting, they were apartments. And then they decided to go condo, so the apartment people were selling each one of these apartments as a condo, 
and some guy in uh, without seeing it. He didn't. He didn't even come to uh, Florida to see the place. He thought it'd be an investment, and he was in New Mexico or Arizona or something like that. And uh, so anyway, he bought the place, and so we then we were paying him, you know, instead of the apartment complex people. And then the air conditioning broke and different things happened. And he didn't want, I guess, you know, he just didn't want to spend the money. So instead of putting something new in or whatever, he, whatever, and the air conditioning units were up on the top of the buildings. And whatever. So anyway, we eventually moved to a apartment complex. Uh, in in Miami. Now there the situation was first thing I wanted was internet service so I went over there and they I can't remember which company it was a big one said okay well our uh, oh my gosh I forgot to put the headset on Okay, I'm going to assume you could hear me. Okay. Oh, uh, my gosh. I hate having to do stuff over again. Okay, so we moved uh, to this new place, and uh, first thing I wanted to do was, before we even got anything moved there, was, you know, get the Internet service in. So the guy shows up, and uh, I'm over there. There's nothing there. I'm there waiting for him. He shows up early in the morning. And uh, he can't find the box to hook into. And he's there. Well, for, oh, no, first he shows up. This is Miami. Keep in mind, this is Miami. He shows up and he says, television, internet. That's the only two English words he knew. He was a contract, you know, somebody that they contracted with or whatever to do this. This may be the first time he'd done it. And uh, so he spent hours and hours. And then there was phone calls, you know, between, uh, I guess they were calling him saying, you know, they expected this to be, you know, take him 30 minutes or whatever to hook things up. And then he was telling him. You know, and so finally after, I mean, hours, 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 uh, got television. And, uh, but he couldn't get internet. And so, you know, it was like we had to, I had to go get a neighbor, you know, to come over to translate. And he said, you know, uh, somebody will have to come out for the internet service, uh, uh, you know, in Spanish, and they translated, and uh, so so he left. So then I went and looked at the television, and it didn't make you know because I had a list or something of the channels, and it didn't make sense. Uh, wrong channels, wrong services. What's going on? You know. So the next day or whatever, the. Uh, Internet, or the, the the guy came out, and he spoke, you know, a guy came out and spoke English, and he said, uh, oh, no, you're hooked up to, I think it was AT&T, I think. The guy that was here, he hooked you up to AT&T television service out there at the box on the street, which is their box. You know, we're not AT&T. And also, uh, AT and T. I think I think it was AT and T. AT and T has gone to the dish service. They put in fiber optics or whatever, intending for Miami that they were going to, you know, offer television and high speed internet or whatever. But then it got to be too expensive, and they just decided to hell with you know, to hell with this. So they they didn't offer that. So that 
box out there that had cable in it. That wasn't even offered to people. He had a choice of the dish with, you know, them. And this guy had hooked into this other company's service. So the guy said, you know, well, I can't find the box for, you know, here. They don't, they don't, everybody else has a box. You don't have a box. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a box for everybody, but, you know, like four or five places, you know, it was a box or whatever. Uh, so he said, but anyway, he says, i I found a box, you know, from down down a ways here that supplies for other people. It's not supposed to supply for this. But anyway, I hooked you in. So I had internet and had um, um, no. Can't remember exactly. Um, anyway, we had the television and I, uh, I'm not sure what the deal was with the internet, right? But that, at that point, because I know I was doing my blog then, and on my blog, I blogged about this. And, like, this was a Friday, and I blogged about this on my blog, what had happened, and the company said they would be out Monday and fix whatever the situation was. And immediately I was contacted because whichever company this was had read on my blog this. And a person called me up and said, you know, we we saw on your, maybe they sent me an email, I can't remember. Uh, we saw and uh, we're having a special crew with the supervisor and everything they'll be out there saturday morning early they're making a special trip just for you we will take care of this and so uh they came out and hooked up they oh yeah the other way they dug a uh, that was it yeah they dug a trench and hooked into the so i guess i didn't have anyway they hooked into a, a lady across from me you know, and ran the cable over, you know, and hooked us up so we had internet and everything. So it was like um, six months later or something, maybe a year later, I was out around the apartment complex and right like next door to us or, or down three apartments or whatever, I just happened to look over into the people's patio because I was looking. I was walking along and I was seeing these boxes, you know, not in somebody's patio, but, you know, like the Internet service and the, you know, whatever cable box outside. And, okay, that's what they were talking about that they couldn't find. And there's none down by my place. But these people here, you know, every whatever. So then I looked over into some people that were like next door or whatever I looked over into, and inside their patio was the box, you know, the green box or whatever. That's the internet service. That's the cable service right there that we should have been hooked into. But it didn't matter because we were just, <laughs> they ran a thing across, you know, made a new trench and ran, you know, so we had it. But so that was it. Um, so when we, uh, after being in Miami for five years, left Miami and came to Fort Worth, Texas, and then hooked up with Charter here, and Charter was okay, and except, yeah, hooked up with Charter, and then eventually they became Sprint, and I cannot remember the exact how in the world this happened. But, and you're probably not going to believe it. But anyway, um, I can't remember the exact details, but I paid for, okay, I can't remember now if it was the power, electric power, or if it was the internet service. I probably shouldn't say. So don't count this. But what happened actually when I first moved here, 
you could pay for, and it may have been the electrical service, and maybe in the cable, you could pay, you know, on your phone or whatever, or you paid to your phone number or whatever. And I paid for like two months, you know, I went in, entered the phone number or whatever, and, you know, said, you know, oh, okay, pay your bill's taken care of. And then I get like a cutoff notice. And I was paying into a bill, I guess these people had previous, you know, well, I'm not sure if it was with my phone number or I can't remember what the deal was, but that was a mess. I never got that. I just ended up having to pay, never got it straightened out. And that was, of course, that was, that was stupidity on my part. I can't remember exactly how stupid I was with that. You know, like, okay, do you want to pay, you know, your, do you want to pay, you just, you know, pay to your phone number or something. And so anyway, uh, we now have, they did it immediately. Uh, while I was talking to the lady, lost the internet for a second, came back. And so, We'll go ahead and run this again. I'm going to miss the 20 up because we had 600 down. No, 400 down and we had 20 up. I'm going to miss the upload, the speed for, you know, the uh, upload speed. Uh, now this, I have a network cable running in here my son in the next room he's using Wi-Fi so he's not getting uh, you know 171 he's getting like 60 he's using Wi-Fi we've got several Wi-Fi devices I keep telling him try a different Wi-Fi uh, uh, but so so we're getting 11 up and uh, 200 down Okay, uh, another subject. Um, Hillary, as you know, has been um, flying drones. Uh, you see some of the things. Okay. I um, uploaded this video the other day. It was why well, she made the video a couple of days before, but I didn't get the video for a couple of days. And. Uh, she told me that her drone did 4K, so I uh, processed the video uh, as a 4K video and uploaded it. And uh, YouTube, you know, accepted, of course, as a 4K video. But then I found out, well, today I looked out the patio, I woke up looked out the patio door, Hillary had a new drone that she had just got, and she was saying that it does 2K video, it's better than the other one, and I was like, what? And then I found out that, no, the uh, thing that I was saying the other day that was 4K video that I uploaded was not 4K video, and of course I was telling her out the patio sliding door, you know, uh, I said, no, that the new drone you have, she says, it's four, it's 2K. I said, no, it's 1080p. No, it's 2K. I said, they don't really have a 2K. She says, yeah, it says 2K. So I came in, did a search. I didn't study it, but I guess there is a 2K, which is just more lines, you know, than 1080p, but it's not 4K. And I guess some people... Uh, really say, oh no, you know, it's, stuff's not 2K, it's 1080p. Or t I think it depends on your television set or your monitor. This happens to be a 4K monitor, and so it would it will display 2K. So, too, what I need to get Hillary is so excited, and she's having so much fun with these drones. She bought, you know, some of the little tiny ones that said in the palm. Now she's up to, and she just bought 
you know, the one like last week or whatever, and now she bought this uh, one. I've got to gift, you know, get her to give me the name of the drone, the model number of the drone, <laughs> so I can put it here, and also so I can make sure, okay, what kind of video is she, you know, is she recording, you know, so I can get that correct. Anyway, on this video, I did put in here, you know, that I just found out that this video is not 4K that I uploaded, but it is 4K, but you know what I mean. The video from her drone was not 4K. Uh, so I got to make sure that uh, she, t too, I want to put what kind of drone it is in case you like what you see and you can click and you can purchase it or whatever so so that's my video for today i've got to listen to this thing and if i don't want to record this thing all over again because i forgot to put the damn microphone on there by the way i should do an update on the uh, fish tanks um, oh man this tripod is really tight um, the albino snails, you know, they, they had, uh, eggs hatch out. So I have a number of little albino snails. The shrimp have been, you know, breeding. So I've got a bunch of shrimp in there. Too many to count. I started out with, what was it that I order? I paid for six and I got seven or something like that. And there's too many in there to count. And uh, I'll get you some closer up video uh, one of these days of that. So I, uh, anyway, I'm saving $25 on the internet, Spectrum Internet Service. I was, I have been paying 119 and now I'm going to be paying 79. So, hate to go down in the internet speed, but uh, we can make it just fine with this. As you know, I'm re I'm retired on Social Security, and then I get $175 a month from another uh, retirement thing. That's it f uh, for me. But my ex-wife and my grown son, you know, they kick in too. And so we're, you know, we're only paying for one Internet service and one TV service, and we're not TV, but electric service and all that type of stuff. But, uh you know, my income is fixed and expenses just keep going, you know, keep going up. So, but I never thought that I would cut internet speed. But this is better than when I started and uh, the baud rate was 300 baud, then it was 1200 baud. I think it was 24, then 64K. Uh, can't remember. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I, I hope you see this because I've got to check the damned audio and make sure that I don't have to record it all over again. Thanks for watching.